Nice. All right, so we're here with Mr. Shaw. He's an awesome reader and he wants to show the whole world his reading skills. So we're gonna start off with one of our familiar reads. All right, so which one do you want to start with today? Okay. Jolly we'll Roger the Pirate. One. So Jolly Roger the Pirate, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Go for it. Will he will hide his big coat. He will hide his big boots. Okay, so let me pause you there. You made a mistake. No. Not on the words, but a different one. Do you know where your error is? Oh, yeah. Oh. Your error. Right here. Hey, yeah, all right. So when we read, right, we always start on that left page. I forget. All right, that's all right. So can you start again and let's start from this page? Jolly Roger is a sheep, said the pirate. He will hide his big coat. He will hide his big boots. Nice. Okay, keep going. Jolly Roger. So this word starts with that, and this is kind of a sight word, so it's kind of hard, you can't really sound it out. These ones we just have to know, so it's here they are. Here they are. And do you know what they is referencing? No. When they say here they are, what is they talking about? Uh, they hear is something? Well, let's turn back. So when we're reading and something's not right, it's always okay to turn back and then reread and figure it out. So here, Jolly Roger woke up. Where are my big boots, he said. Uh, then when we go, it's here they are. Here. So talking about they, that's in reference to his boots. Uh, because he's looking for his boots. Right? All right, keep going. Then what did you say here? Hey, Jolly Roger, where, where is my big coat? He Great. All right, I'm going to pause you there. You did really good reading. Let's go into that book we practiced yesterday now. Fish. So that was Jolly Roger. Okay, so put that fishing. away. Yep, and then this is our story we read about Baby, Baby Bear, Bear Goes Fishing. fishing. Okay, so remember when you are reading this, try and think about the story and see if what you're reading makes sense to the story. And then also you can sound it out by you do a great job of sounding out the letters, but you can also look for word parts you know, like this ing we practiced yesterday, which makes ing, right? So fishing. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna listen to you read. Baby Bear Goes Fishing. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Okay, I like how you notice something's kind of off there. So maybe start that sentence again and see if it sounds better. I I I will go with with you.
so we notice that this is a word that maybe we're having some problems with, okay? Um, this one, the picture can help you, okay? Or actually the story can help you. Let's think about some structure here. So he says, I will go with you. Why does he, Baby Bear, want to go with Dad? So he can find some fish for him. Okay, to find some fish. So he might go to help him. Yeah. So would this make sense? I will go with you and help you, yeah. Okay. So I will go with you and help you. You are too little. You are too little. To go fishing, said Mama Bear. I'm not too little, said Baby, said Baby Bear. I'm big. Papa Bear and Baby Bear went down the river. Can This is a sight word, so this necessarily is sometimes difficult to sound out. So this is a word that you kind of got to just know by sight. And this word you see a lot in your books. Oh yeah. That word is. So he's saying, come here. So how'd you know that I was here? Because I sounded it out. Okay. So come here. This this goes with him. Okay, so keep going. You're on calm. Here, fish. Say, baby, bear. Do you love fish or not here, Peter? Said Papa Bear. Right there. Baby, bear. Look, look at my fish, said Baby Bear. Fish, fish, look at my fish. I did that wrong. Okay, so that's pretty awesome that you noticed that. So how can we fix that? So it starts with that shh. What about the rest of the word? Shouting. Hey, look at you. Okay. So how about restart up there? So read that again. Look, shouted baby bear. Fish, fish, look at my fish. Pa Papa bear and baby bear went. I am not uh, I am not too little I'm not too little said baby bear great how'd you feel about that reading good, good? okay do you think it was easy hard just right Easy. Okay, cool. Well, I thought you did a really good job. You were able to look at some things and figure them out. I started to help you and then it just came to you. 
you said you use skills like sounding them out and looking at the pictures, so that was awesome. Let's look at, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Let's practice two, two words. Two birds with one stone. Yep, so let's play a little game here. All right. I can't tell. How'd you know? I can say it all the time. Oh, sweet, well I like it, so it's a good strategy, right? So let's do this. All right, in our book, we saw this word here, right? Do you remember where that word here was? Ah, I found it. Can you find that word here on the page? Nice, okay, got it? So, so that you know, can you write that word here? A, E, R, E. Okay. So you got it? H-E-R-E. -E. What's that word? Fear. Fear. Nice. All right. And then my word is going to be this. C-O-M-E. It's kind of like that word sum. Stack. But it, car it starts with a C. Yeah. So this is the word. Co. Nice. All right. So you go first. What's that word? Here. Here. All right, I'm going to do the, my word, C-O-M-E. What's my word? Co. Nice. All right, you go. Not all here. Cool. What's your word? Here. How'd you spell it? H-E-R-E. -E. Got it. So let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to trick you. I'm going to go C-O-M-E. Come. Okay. Let's do come. Now your turn. Uh, whoop. Hey, good for you. You got three in a row. Nice. So what's that word you wrote? Here. Here. And what's the word I wrote? Come. Come. Nice. All right, let's, oh. let's do something cool. So we just practiced those words. Ready? Here's your true test. All right, so all you got to do is if you write with your finger, can you write me that word here? Oh, I messed up. That's all right. We've got a little eraser here. Where did you go? So keep going. Here, you can start again. Write that word here. Maybe write the letters a little smaller. What the heck? What? There you go. Like that. Nice. What's that word you wrote? Here. How'd you spell it? A. E R E. Awesome. All right. So you got that word here. Even I can spell it what I wrote. Hey, that's good for you. And that's really good because you're telling me that you can process and think about your writing as you're doing it. And that's what readers and writers do. That's awesome, man. Okay. So now let's transition to your writing book, right? One more time, maybe like right here. Can you write me that yeah. word here? Hey, what's that word? Here. Here. Okay, so let's use that word here in a sentence. Let's think about maybe the book you started with. Here you are. So here are. Here you are. Ooh, how about if we're thinking about baby bear going fishing, maybe we could write here are the fish. Yeah. Okay, that's a cool sentence. Let's do that. So here are the fish. Okay. Now, so we practice this word here, and we're going to start our sentence with this word here. So when we start a sentence, do we start with a lowercase or an uppercase letter? Uppercase. Uppercase. So 
Do you know how to do an uppercase H? Yeah. Cool. All right. So start the sentence with that word here. Paper, you know oh. Well, don't cheat on mine. You have it right here. Yeah. Plus, you practice writing it on my iPad, on the whiteboard, and even on here. So, you know how to write that word. All right. Oh, so okay. now we're gonna do that word R. That's easy. A R A. A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's write that. If I do A R N, sound that word out. R. So it, what sound does N make? Yeah. N, so this will be arn. Oh, you were. I like how you wrote a r. And then does that look like the word r? No. So a lot, oh. a lot of times, especially in the English language, we put a silent e at the end to make the word look right. So oh. we would call this word r, right? You practice that. Can you write that word r? Sure you do your space and then write that word R. Okay, so what do we have so far? Here R. Okay, so here are, well, we're, okay, so here are, and then we'll say the, the, T-H-E, T-H-E, you got it, T, wait, this has T, yeah, so this will be a lowercase T because it's in the middle of the sentence, like we said before, only uppercase letters start the sentence, unless it's like a name or something, so is that an uppercase or a lowercase T? Uppercase. Right, so we want to use a lowercase t, and unfortunately I ran out of uh, my tape, so I'm just going to scribble that. Usually we want this to be perfect, but that's alright. So we got t, how do you spell the rest of the word? Cool, so what's our sentence say now? Here are the... Okay, and then we're gonna write that word fish. 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 So here are the fish. And then it's a fish. All right, how about show me? Can you write that word fish right there? Fish, I. Okay, so we have f, I. S. Then, so check this out. You wrote an uppercase F. We want to make sure that when we write this word fish, oh my God. that's all right. It's I a lowercase, okay? Think. Because it's inside of the sentence. Yeah. Now check this out. We practice this. I'll give you 20 bonus points. <laughs> Tell me, what's this SH sound at the end of the word fish? Shh. Hey, look at you, fish, right? Um, how about another bonus point if you can tell me a word that has sh in it? Another word. Okay, uh, you are correct, So, but we usually don't want to say that word, it's a good word. Oh, right. Yeah, but that does start with sh. All right, so when we write this word fish, practice that one more time. Write that word fish with a lowercase f. Fish. Okay, so remember, here are the, and then we want to write this word fish, fish. with your lowercase f. That's an H. Okay. But it looks like a G. 
Mm. Oh, I forgot. Period. Nice, okay. What's the period for? After. So if we put a period at the end of the sentence, what's that telling us? A question. Question? Are we asking a question here or are we telling something? Telling something. Okay. How do I know the sentence is over? Because. Or where to stop? Because and a period at the end. A period at the end, right? So a period tells us where to stop. So we know the sentence is over. Here. Can you read your sentence for me? Here here are the fish. Nice. All right, let's push this to the side. You're doing great. Can I see that? Thank you. <laughs> All right, you read, I'll cut. Here are the fish. Nice. Mix it up. No. Okay. Can you put that together for me? Here's your envelope. How about, let's see. Here. What's the first word in that sentence? Here. Here. What's a word that has sh in it? Has the blend of sh. Oh. Which word's that? Fish. Fish. Okay. How about, can you put words in that are sight words? What's that word? Or and the. Nice. Okay. So here you are. This is for you. Take this home, open it up, practice it. Read it by yourself and see if you can do it, and then go to your mom or whoever and then do it with them, okay? All right, all right, last things last. Let's do a new book, and this is a cool book. This one's called The Picnic. So let's look at this. Fire bee is there. Yeah, let's look at this cover. So what else do you notice about this? Because how can they pick it out without a wrapper on it? It's gonna get so dirty. Well, so, okay, this book's called The Picnic. And have you ever been on a picnic before? No, I haven't. No? Okay. Um, have you ever seen one on TV or heard about one? Or... Yeah. Okay, what's a picnic? What do you do? Uh, you, you uh, go somewhere outside and then you uh, get out his kind of cover and you sit on it and it's a blanket. Yeah, so you know. So you take a blanket and you bring food and you put the blanket out, you open up the picnic basket, and then you just sit and eat your food. It's kind of fun. So, that's what this story is going to be about. And we read other stories about these. So what do we know about these characters already? The characters? Yeah, like who's this boy? I forgot his name. Okay, well his name's Andy. Oh yeah. Remember this is mom and who's this? Spider. The spider, yeah. Does she like the spider? No. No. So we're gonna read about them and they go on the picnic. Okay. You have to see, maybe the spider will come. Alright? This is So here we are. And I picked this book for you because it does it's gonna help you to see how the picture matches the words, but also how like the structure or the pattern you can follow, okay? So we'll we'll get to that, all right? So let's start from the top. Here's Mom and Andy, right? And what are they saying up here? It's kind of like gets, but it starts with an L. Go. So this one would be go. I was talking about this. Kind of like gets, but it starts with a L. So this word is let's. Let's go on a picnic, said Andy. Okay, said Mom. Now I'll pause you there. So now Mom's going to put these items, this, these food, into the basket, right? Yeah, the so what's the first thing she puts in? Milk. Milk. Can you find that word milk? That's the picture of it. Can you find the word milk? <laughs> milk. Yeah, milk. And then sandwiches. How many syllables in that word sandwiches? Sandwiches. Cool. So let me show you. Sandwiches. Can you say that word? Sandwiches. Yep, sandwiches. All right, so let's read this sentence. Start from right here. Mom. Here. Put. Put the milk in the sandwiches into the basket. And so what are they going on. This story was called The Picnic. The Picnic. 
the picnic basket, right? So now you point to those words and read the last sentence. Candy cookie. This cookie. Well, cookies would start with a k. Oh, yeah, this starts with a a. Apples. Apples, right? So apples. Apples. Into the picnic basket. Into. Let me stop you there because you so what I think you just did is like you're reading and then you skip and then you read this part and then you go here and then you're like confused so when that happens readers go back and restart so that it does make sense so let's do that right so Andy put and this is apples apples and and then you said this word Cookies. Cookies. Into the picnic basket. Picnic basket. Yeah, this is called a picnic basket. Okay? Alright, so we'll keep going. I knew it was up there. Yeah, how'd you know that? I, I, I guess. Oh, pretty good guess. Okay, so he jumps in there. Alright, so let's look at this. Now, in this picture, did mom and dad, or sorry, did mom and Andy see the big spider jump into it? No. No, so, so they don't know, right? Yeah. Alright, so can you read that page? Mom and Andy did not see the big spider jump into the picnic basket. Awesome. You read all those words really well except you made one error you know where it is no yep no you read that word good maybe start again mom and andy did Ooh. so what's wrong with that word i like how you noticed that so you're if you're saying bid right that's big you're saying that part is id, oh. and that makes a duh, so it must be the letter. Duh. What letter makes duh? Duh. 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 What letter makes a duh? Uh. B makes buh, so the letter duh would be D. That's why you said that sound. That's oh. the same D, okay? So this word is did. Did so, mom and Andy did, did pick not, not see the big spider, the big spider jump into the picnic basket. Nice, good reading. Okay, let's keep going. So, they didn't see, so do they know? No, he looked like all right. So, based on what we know about these characters, <clears throat> how do you think mom's gonna react when she finds out that the spider's in there? Oh, I know. First, they open the basket over here and get to the blanket out and she put the food out and see and then she sees the spider. And what do, how do you think she's going to act? What's she going to do when she sees the spider? Scared. Scared. Just like in the past books we've read about her, right? All right. Mom and Andy walk to the cooler. So let's use the picture to help ourselves here. So remember in the beginning we were talking about the picnic and you have the blanket and the basket? Yeah. Where do you go to do a picnic though? In the grass. Okay, you would sit in the grass. Where's a big place you would go that- In the woods. In the woods, they've got grass. All right, so then let's look at the, the parts in this word. I'm gonna show you the middle sound. Because you already know that P makes P. A-R is kind of like the word R, but that word R has a silent E on it, so you don't need that E. So it makes the same sound as R, right? If I put a C here, it would be K-R, like car. But they've got a P on that, so we would want to say this as Par. Par, and then it's got Park. Park. Right? So mom and Andy went to the park. Come on, pick it! Yep, so you go to the park. That's where grass and trees are, right? 
So then Andy is going to tell us. Look. Look. Yeah, look at the pig in the basket. Say, Andy. Look at the pig in the basket. Two. Say it now. Okay. So instead of telling us the story, let's read the words they put on the page, right? So he says, I like, like So do you see the difference? They want you to read the words that are on the page, okay? So make sure you do that. With the spider and just out. All right, so now, remember in the first page, let's turn back real quick, where it followed that kind of order, that sequence where she put milk and sandwiches in the uh -huh. picnic basket, right? So the picture matched the words. So now she's gonna do the opposite, right? She's taking them out. So it's, she took out, right? What letter would you expect to see in that word took that comes first? What's the T? first? Yeah, T. So where's that word took? It's kind of like the word look, but it starts with a T. You said it starts with a t, and it's got that uh, so it end with a k sound. So let's see, let's look. Does this word start with t? Yes. O O makes uh, k. Oh, took. Took, right? I didn't see that again. All right, so now they sit down for their picnic, and they want to eat. So they're gonna say to us. What? When there's two vowels like this together, it makes it say the name of the first one. So you'd say this is e. Eat. eat. Let's eat. Say it. Andy. Yep. Mom, open the picnic basket. Good, you're gonna keep going. Andy. Andy, look. It's like took. look, yep, but took. Out his. The apples. Good. And 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 the cookies. Good. Mom, take out the milk and and the and the. And check it out. Ah, what'd she say? Yeah, so she says, big spider, right? An exclamation point, so that's excitement. Big spider. And then her phrase she uses when she's scared, remember eek. this is eek. Okay? And if she's yelling and she's scared, she's going to use this word. Sh shouted. Shouted mom. So the big spider is in the picnic basket. Can you read that like you're scared? Big is in is in the the pig in the basket. Yeah, so she's scared. Oh no. Okay. And then hey, look at this spider. He's, he's got happy. a smile. He, he's happy, right? So he likes picnics too, right? So let's read this last page together. Ready? The, the big spider, spider likes picnics pig too. Said Andy. Andy. Cool. So, hmm. Did they know that spider was in there? No. No? So how'd they react when the spider came out? Scared. How would you react? I would react happy. You'd be happy? No, I'll be scared. I like spiders.